By far, the biggest protest of the past week has unfolded in Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. Tens of thousands of Muslims rallied against the United States, which they believe is behind a YouTube film mocking Islam. Reporting now is RT's Lucy Kavanov, who was in the thick of the rally in Beirut. I'm standing in Dahia. This is a suburb in southern Beirut where thousands of people had turned out to protest the controversial film that is said to have offended the Prophet Muhammad uh, after uh, the head of the Shiite militant group Hezbollah had called for his supporters to take to the streets in protest. Uh, now we've seen thousands of people here. The mood has been largely calm, uh, largely peaceful, but again with so many people out uh, on the street these kinds of events can take on uh, a course of their own. Now, while this is just one of the rallies that's scheduled in Lebanon right now, we're in the suburb of, of uh, Beirut, uh, we know that Hassan Nasrallah has called for additional rallies to take place throughout the week on Wednesday, on Friday, on uh, Saturday, and on Sunday. As you can see, there are families, uh, people who have gathered here to express their frustration with this movie. Some of the chants that we've heard were death to Israel. Uh, America is the greatest devil. We also heard some speeches uh, where the speaker had insinuated that uh, uh, we really have to, they have to, this group has to focus on the true enemy insinuating that Israel is behind uh, uh, the push for, for these kinds of uh, so-called anti-Islamic uh, 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 films. Although, of course, this movie was produced in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. government has also criticized it, but we've seen a, a very violent reaction uh, resonating across the Muslim world. While we're here in Lebanon, this is just one of the protests that has really taken place in a week, more than a week now, of anti-American uh, uh, violent protests in some countries. We've seen at least nine people killed uh, on Friday. There have been protests in Yemen, in Tunisia, in Cairo, uh, uh, in Sudan, all across the globe. Uh, and on Monday in Pakistan, at least one person was killed in violent clashes. Uh, in Afghanistan, there have been protests as well, as well as in Jakarta. This is the most populous uh, Muslim country and the first time that the protests protests have taken place there on Monday. Again, the mood here is uh, fairly tense. Most of the people are, are calm. There's families, uh, fighters, uh, people of all ages. Uh, and again, this is really uh, this is really expressing the anti uh, anti American sentiment. Uh, some of the signs you can see here, and indeed, you are a fan of great moral character. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of support here. People are trying to defend their religion, defend the name of the Prophet Muhammad. And again, we really do have to keep watching to see how events play out. But largely peaceful so far in Beirut. Lucy Kafanov for RT, Beirut, Lebanon. Well, let's uh, get more on the mood in Lebanon with political analyst Kamal Wazni joining me live there from Beirut. Well, tens of thousands of people, as we see there, on the streets of Beirut. Are they uh, merely following their leaders, or is this genuine sentiment, genuine anger? Oh, I think it's very genuine, and it seems to be an uprising against the United States in Lebanon and throughout the Middle East and throughout the Muslim world. I think this, this uh, the attack against the Prophet Muhammad is not something small. I think the United States hasn't understand the magnificent of this attack, and they will dearly pay for it. And Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah was very strong worded against the United States. There he said, this is not something, a lip service. There will be action if the United States does not take a real action to stop that movie or uh, bring those people who brought this movie to justice. I think this is serious as, as anything you can think of it, as seriously as deadly. And I think uh, Said Hassan Nasrallah meant every word that he said in that speech. The fact that he came out from his hiding to speak to those people that shows the level of anger and, 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 and frustration that it took on... Well, apologies for that. Uh, the we prophet were just... of Islam. And I think this is going to be a major, major... 
Uh, a battle between uh, the Islamist and the United States, and I think this is shifting away from the United States. They lost a major battle. They worked very hard to build themselves around the Islamic world. Now it backfired. Obama failed on all fronts. All his speeches in Cairo, all his speeches in, 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 in Turkey, just gone in a second. Well, just get this clear. You, you're talking about a battle here, you talk about violence, you're talking about taking serious action. Uh, what are we talking about? More violence, more loss of death, more loss of life, I should say? I think it's, it can go as far as you can imagine. The speech is very clear, it's the, the, the message very stern. And I think if I'm in the Obama administration, I will take the message very, very, very uh, seriously, and I think this is an issue that when he said we give our life, we give our family life, our children life, and my blood, this is very serious. He said this is this is probably the strongest statement that I ever heard of Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah. Probably I didn't see it in even 2006 war. Uh, the, I think the, 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 the fact that they attacked the Prophet, this is very holy when it comes to, to the holiness of this issue. But come on, is I, it, think well, there I must be ask no, you though, is this, no, is this representative of the Muslim population as a whole or are we just seeing a minority of extremism talking here? No, I think there is, there is, when you look at it, there is different kind of Muslim, and those different kind of Muslim, whether they're Sunna or Shiat. I think where the first reaction came from the Sunna, from the Al-Qaeda followers, that's what happened in Libya. They take, they attack the embassy, then they, those Islamic, Islamic, uh, what we call them, Islamic, new Islamic politics that is represented in, in Egypt, where they actually, when they got the call from Obama, the president of Egypt came in and he, he abandoned everything. Now, we heard the third version of Islam, the Shi'at. And the Shi'at, I think, they seem to be determined to block any attempt to disgrace their prophet. So if you have to look at it, you have to look at it at different level. But the message is unified. Any attack against the prophet of Islam is not going to go away. If somebody in, in the Obama administration or some advisor in the Romney just graduated from Harvard, uh, you know, political science school and he thinks he's very smart, he's not reading the message very All clear. All right, just this briefly then, how do they read very, the message? Very, very how, how does Washington read the message, as you say? What should the reaction be now from I think Washington? the message, I think the message the message should be very clear. Those people uh, stop the release of that movie. La, the, the bring those people, investigate who were behind it, uh, bring them to justice, and prevent any kind of movie to be released attacking any religious order. That's what he's calling for. And I think they will not stop any short of these demand. They will carry it to the end. The reading that I was listening to, oh, I was sitting on my TV and listening to the word and seeing the, the anger and the frustration in his face. And I'm very good at reading Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah. It's my expertise. He's, he, he, he means every word and the street is like on fire. Okay, Kamal Wazni, thank you very much. Talking there from Beirut, where we've seen mass protests, the largest anti-US protest so far. Thank you very much indeed, Kamal Wazni, political analyst there.